Brookline Arts Center fosters an innovative environment where artists and the community thrive through creative experiences. Brookline Arts Center is one of the most forward-thinking art centers around the greater Boston area. So the Brookline Arts Center is just over 50 years old. Actually, we're 54 this year, and our mission is really to bring the community meaningful experiences in the arts through our classes, exhibitions, which you can see here, and our community outreach programs. For classes, we start at age 18 months working with um, parents, grandparents, and nannies. Um, they bring their toddlers in, get to know other families in the area, and explore a variety of artistic mediums. And then we go all the way up through adult. Um, we have a ceramics studio with classes running for ages four all the way up through adult. Jewelry and metal smithing, which is upstairs, um, we start at age 12 and go up through adult in there as well. For exhibitions, we do rotating exhibits almost monthly. So the one in here is by a Brookline artist. She's actually born in um, Croatia. Her name's Marila. Um, so she proposed this exhibit to us and our gallery committee who consists of artists in the Boston area as well as some board members and myself um, review applications twice per year. Brookline Art Center was founded in 1964 as a small parent cooperative for children's art classes. It started in the basement of Mim and Barney Berliner's Brookline home. The Art Center has recently undergone a major renovation, said director Lauren Riviello. Looking at our building, it's an old fire station. It was built in 1886, and it really hasn't been renovated for about 30 years. Um, and there are a lot of different new needs that are coming up for our facility because we're doing more programs, um, different kinds of programs, so we needed more flexibility um, and just really some important upgrades. So over the last three to four years, we've been working towards a phased renovation plan. Um, and during our most recent winter break, we were able to complete phase one, which was for mostly the downstairs studio space. Um, so studio one, which is the main studio classroom, we also host a variety of events in there, and our ceramic studio. Since 1967, the Brookline Arts Center has served as a community center for the visual arts of Brookline and the greater Boston area. Located in the heart of Brookline, Brookline Arts Center offers families with young children a chance to bond over the arts. And I think also being connected to the park outside, it's a beautiful Brookline Park. The kids love playing on it. Our adult students love going outside when the weather's nice and drawing and painting out there. The bird was how we culminated our 50th anniversary. Um, it was actually, it's been sin since repainted, but at the time it was painted by a bunch of different um, kids, teens, adults, families around the Brookline community. And the bird traveled to three different Brookline parks. Um, the third was here. In addition to regular classes, the Brookline Art Center hosts exhibitions, events, community outreach programs, workshops, art, and birthday parties. Every Wednesday, the Upstairs Art Studio acts as an open studio for thriving artists in the community. Local Brookline artist Aaron Seidman comes weekly to continue his creative pursuit. The Art Center opened up Wednesdays for uh, uh, as an open studio, I started coming here, and uh, so I come in here once a week for uh, between one and four hours, and uh, I paint. Well, art is an amazing tool for bringing people together. Um, a lot of times people can be intimidated in new situations or meeting new people, and art really has the capacity to have people start exploring different things together and working through things that can't necessarily be discussed or talked about. Continuing to reach beyond our walls, partnering with more Brookline and Boston organizations, um, either through our exhibits or community outreach programs, that's something that we're definitely constantly working towards. Um, hopefully having more off-site classes running as well as we continue to build our capacity. For Brookline Interactive Group, this is Maya Huter.